Let me tell you about a, 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 a DJ. If you're in a club or in the radio, there's no money in the business that I am until you become an air personality. If you're just a mixer, you're never gonna break the bank. And when I was just a mixer, red alert, he never told me don't take no money to play records, but I watched him not take money for records. And I watched, I watched the music industry always be annoyed with him. Oh, you know Red, Red what? I ain't playing my shit, man. Really? But I knew that's because they can't pay him. And when somebody can't buy your, uh, your opinion and your integrity, right? It's valuable later on. And he explained to me, because I used to ask him questions. How did you make money when you were making no money, but you're this powerful guy on the radio? I would play the clubs. What you mean? I play the clubs, make my money at the end of the night so I could pay my rent, get my weight up until the radio station would give me good money. Got it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm going to get this bread in the club. And after a while, when a label would call me with a record I didn't like, I'd say, well, I don't like it. What the fuck you mean you don't like it? Fuck you. I don't like it. Because you don't pay me. You don't give me no money on the side. So, hold on, we're about to go somewhere. Oh, payola? No, 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 oh, no, sorry. not at all. <laughs> we know, we know you. I'm behind. You can uh, talk about no, it. No, no. <laughs> Flex. It's no secret. Mm -hmm. To a lot of people, you're a good dude. But to a lot more, you're a Piece dick. Piece of shit. Yes, you are. <laughs> Absolutely. You're a dick. We're clear? I, I, and I am. Okay. Does that mentality come from the idea that you cannot be controlled because I've watched you do things that people would not dare do, right? What dare do? You have gone up against some of the most powerful people in the industry, but we're going to back it up. Mm -hmm. Name them? Name it's not, it's not, it's not, no. not, not now. We're going to get there. In terms, of your, in terms of labels, pushing records on, we all did. Your ability to say no, did you find, you know what, this for me is empowering. I, I, watch, I watch Red Alert do it. I'm gonna tell you something. I watched a friend of mine that I love dearly to this day. And, and I watch labels and record companies give him money. And I used to pick up that money for him. And I used to watch the labels when I come in the door. I wouldn't even flex it. I was fucking, my name was Junior. When they call me George. Ah, oh, hey, hey. Right? And I, and I give it to my man. When he got fired, I just happened to call one of these dudes. I didn't even think he knew my man got fired. I just called him and it was like, yo, bro, I'm downstairs. I want to pick up some records. He had me come up. He said, tell your man he's an ordinary motherfucker now. And I was like, whoa. Because I thought these people were friends. I thought the music industry and people were friends. I thought this is like, I come from the cooking business where everybody's hunky-dory, let's cook these corn muffins. <laughs> and now, this man is talking to me nuts. But it wasn't nuts. Because what I realized from that conversation was, you never liked paying that money. And you never liked being squoles, but you did it. Because you wanted, you wanted to get your record played. And I used him as a blueprint of, that's the way y'all motherfuckers think? Now, because I was a bad man at one time, and I went and gave the money and the drugs to niggas, right? Now, when I get on the radio, well, mind you, I'm never thinking I'm ever gonna get on the radio because I want to be a rap DJ in the clubs. So then, when I get on the radio, those same guys come around. Yo, what up? <laughs> Fucks up. Yo, you know, like how we used to do before? No, no, what you mean no, nigga? I was like, no, you know, that's the way he was running his shit. 
So now, from the door, the music industry hated my guts. From the door. But then, I kept that going. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna do the math. And Red Alert taught me the math. You wanna give me five grand to play a record? I hear you. Let's take it back then. Two grand? If I get hot in this club, I can get four grand. So I was like, I put more time into getting hot. Because then, if I'm hot, and I'm getting bread, I don't need to take your money. So then I knew if I, I got, my goal was, yeah, I'm on this radio, but I gotta get hot in the clubs and the streets because I gotta, here. You see how the grand people like the front, right? This is everybody's problem. If anybody in here, if you're unemployed, but you walk outside with a Louis bag, people think you got bread, right? So if I walk outside and I'm on this big radio station, people think I got bread. I don't. I'm making $50 a night. I had to, if I didn't get hot in the club, I would have to take the label money. Cause it's, it, it, it's no, I'm not gonna be able to balance this. I'm spending, I gotta keep my gear up in the club. I gotta get a watch. I gotta get a new car. I can't pull up in the ocean I was driving. Like this is nuts. I gotta get this, I gotta get this going. And, and Red Alert taught me Get that going, and you ain't never gotta, nobody's ever gonna talk to you funny. And that was probably, that, that's why I go back to internship. The, the best thing you could do of someone you admire is for that person to allow you to be a fly on that wall and see how stuff interact. Because it ain't about just the job. Because if you get the job, but you didn't learn how it, it moved, you may get your check but you ain't moving up. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.